So I'm kind of doing this as just like a public service announcement. There's no script or anything. This is just of the moment. Um, I just happened to stumble across this player who was running around a little awkwardly, and I thought I'd take a look at him. Um, he is uh, a bot, uh, very clearly. The way you can tell is by his movements. Um, not so much what he... It's like what he's doing and his movements and like typical behaviors, things that you can like... If you were to like write down as a, as a study, like he's doing this when this happens, this when this happens. So um, I'm going to kind of... I've recorded a, a long snippet of him running around, so I'll just kind of compress it down into small things as examples. But a couple of ways that you can spot bots is, um, number one, their movement. Uh, players generally, especially new players, are... Their movements are pretty. Are they're, they're they're not very well thought out, right? They, a new player doesn't, you know, turn on moves. If they are, they might be a keyboard turner. They turn a lot. But number one is any player, especially a new player, doesn't just stand and shit. It doesn't happen. So an easy way to tell a bot is number one, they aren't programmed most of the time to avoid damage unless it's a scripted event like a boss fight. For these world things where it's just an enemy. They usually will stand in whatever. Um, that's number for one of two things. Number one, the bot doesn't care because if they die, it'll just release. And he's done that a couple times. I couldn't get it on footage because he wasn't taking enough damage. But uh, that's another thing bots will do is they'll run no concern. They'll throw a caution to the wind and just run into a fate. They'll die, release, because the bot's set them up to automatically return to that aetherite then they'll just mount up and go back to that fate even if they're the only one there they'll just keep going most players um as a they do it as for good and for bad but they'll go to a fate if they see that they're soloing it um and not, it's not progressing very quickly they just leave you know if if you're the only one doing a fate and you have like a minute left and there's 90 percent still to go you're probably going to leave Bots don't do that. Bots don't check that percentage. They just run to a fate so the, because they don't care. They want the, Even if they fail, they get experience. And that's how it works. So you see this guy do that a lot. Another thing you see is uh, they travel in straight lines because um, the way the bots are programmed is th the fates are the only thing that the bot can track. They know the position coordinate-wise of the fate. Um, the only way to get from fate to fate is by the bot basically writes up a little algorithm that says, I am at this location. I need to be at this location. So the safest path, um, it, it's programmed to know what the safe paths are, and it goes from point A to point B in a straight line, and once it gets to point B, it then goes to point C. It goes in a straight line from there. Sometimes it'll actually stop. I, I He actually stopped here because his point C broke, so it had to re redo it. And it's like, all right, now that I'm here, go to this point, then go to this point, then go to this point. So yeah, he's clearly botting. Um, another thing you'll see is he actually stops uh, and if you're a high level character, he's like 29. Um, he got aggro on like a level 16, I think. But he had done two things. Number one, he got attacked by a mob that was level 16 because he had synced down to the level of that fate. So rather than just like quickly sync back up, go back up to 29 destroy that level 16 mob then sink back down and go do things which is a smart thing which anybody would do um, and most players wouldn't have synced that quickly either if they got aggro um, he just fights it at level like fucking 15 because that's what it sunk uh, brought him down to that is just clear examples of how bots are working and you see them all over the world Every lots of players do it you'll see them do very odd behavior the number one thing you should watch for is watch a player who runs and no holds bar into fates the first thing you should do is try and whisper them try and get a message out of them because you know ask them what's up how's your day if they don't respond then just watch their behavior a little bit more you'll see some of that typical behavior where they keep dying coming back keep dying coming back and then just watch their movement if you see them running in a lot of straight lines if you see them not really acting if they seem to be acting in a strange way if they're not playing like especially higher level characters if they're not playing in a way that makes sense for someone of that level report them that is a bot okay so i hope you find this useful uh the next video will be coming out pretty soon i'm working on that and i got another video in the works as well um but yeah so there you go uh, have a good day